Hello, hello, Pete's Packs here. We're back with Secret Lair Sunday, episode number 162. This is Secret Lair Fallout Collaboration Special. So let's see what we get. Now, hopefully we'll get one of the super secret promos. And apparently you are special. I think you're special. So. Let's see. Now, I have a feeling that these were planned quite a while before they did the envelopes, because they are in the bigger boxes. And we will see. Yeah. These are the medium boxes that they did over the years. They ran with these for, I don't know, a year maybe? Nine months, something like that? In between the really big boxes and the envelopes. One of the reasons I'm going ahead and doing this one, since it jumped in the queue, is uh, these things take up a lot of space. And we've got a lot of things that are coming up. Take up quite a bit of space. So, might as well get to some of the neat stuff. Ooh, got a waste. That's our first promo. Second promo, another waste. I think all the wastes are foils. Okay. Three. We have another waste. What a waste. <laughs> okay. That. There. All right. And another waste. So we got four wastes. And they're pretty cool looking ones. Definitely good for the summertime fun. Would have been kind of cool if it was Wasteland instead of Waste, but, you know, it is what it is. I think they already did Wasteland in the main Fallout set, though. So let's get... Oh, that's that nasty... Yeah, this has to be an older thing. And they just didn't release it? very quick like they must have waited a while before they release these between manufacturing and releasing them because uh it's not like crappy glue that they did kind of intermediate carefully snip the cards out go ahead and remove all of them quick Is this stuff the the glue that they used for these were just insidious like it it gets on everything it's really sticky it's really easy to get in, get on stuff that you don't want it to get on it's just it's no good come on Not the most graceful removal, but that's what it is. Right. Okay, so this is special. We have Steel Shaper's Gift. Nice. Good one. I believe that's played in, um, uh, what's it called? Hammer Time. We have Propaganda. Commander Staple. Elixir of Immortality. Used to really enjoy this card back when it was in Standard. 
Definitely a neat one to have. Council's Judgment. Which recently had a um, reprint in the Outlaws of Thunder Junction commander deck. Idyllic Tutor. Nice. I believe this one was in need of a reprint. Anger. Okay. Strange one. And Lightning Bolt. Hey, that's a good one. Always good to have more Lightning Bolt designs out there. All right. Go ahead and check that we got all of them. It's a fairly large uh, secret layer. Seems a little odd, some of the choices that they made for it, but, you know, uh, several of these are nice to see get reprints. Okay. I mean, they all fit fairly well for the the theme. It would be nice if, uh, I don't know, Mana Vault had been part of the core part of this, but you know, can't expect too much, I guess. Mana Vault would have just fit really well. Uh, Wasteland would have been a good fit for this as well. I, I feel like with some of the, the crappier value of secret layers that they've done, it would be nice if they did some really good ones, but... Yeah, it is what it is. I made my choices. Alright, well, thank you for joining me on this very special occasion with Secret Lair Sunday, episode number 162, Fallout Special. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for the algorithm. And until next time, stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.